Welcome back to the show, everyone. Boy, our next guest has had quite a year, been extremely busy. He's got his, uh, his music studio, he's got his music classes and, and teaching, and he's been on a little show called Cover Me Canada. As yes, well. we're joined now by Warren Dean Flandes. How are you? I'm Warren. good. How are you? So let's good start nice. with Cover Me Canada. How was the whole experience <laughs> for you? Oh, wow. Cover Me Canada, that was, that was a trip and a half. It was, it was a great experience. Yeah. Um, just to be on a show with that type of format, singing uh, the type of music that I sing was incredible. Yeah. You know, R&B soul music in yeah. Canada is... It doesn't get a lot of exposure. And, not and too much. <laughs> yeah, to get that no. opportunity to go up there and really show people, uh, you know, why this genre of music has so much staying power is just, you know, it's right there, it's soul, man. Like Exactly. It's everything. I mean, we have so many talented people in this country, and um, I feel like there is a place for R&B soul in Canada. Yeah. It just hasn't been, you know, properly yeah. distributed or, or noticed. Yeah. It needs to be discovered. Uh, y your song choices, uh, I don't know how it works on shows like that. Do you get to pick them or are no. they handed to you? Because yeah. you had such an interesting mix of songs and you just did such an amazing job with them, uh, especially sometimes when we touch. I was annoying <laughs> everybody by saying it. But how do you go about approaching a song when it is handed to you like that? Well, first of all, the show picks the songs for yeah. us. So. Uh, we, we don't have any say on what we're getting. But um, I think the strategy that I took was definitely to, to find out how and where uh, the song originated and, and what, why was it written. And so with Sometimes When We Touch, I researched that Dan Hill had written it for uh, his, ba I think it was his babysitter, an older, older babysitter. Correct me. Dan uh, yeah, Hill. I know, right? <laughs> Good lord. I know. Interesting. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it was his babysitter, but anyway, yeah. I might be making this up. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> <Dan. laughs> it's not like it's going to be online or anything later. It'll be fine. Oh, exactly. But um, uh, he he wrote it for an older woman for sure, and mm -hmm. um, and it turned out that uh, you know she didn't end up you know, liking him back. And yeah. It was quite tragic. Right. And, and he wrote this song for So there's her. heartbreak in there. There's like... There is, you know? And so I, I decided to to just strip it right down and kind of, and, you know, present it in its, in its purest Knowing form. Knowing stuff like that must give you such an interesting insight and approach yeah. to how you're going to sing the lyrics and what tone. And it must be really fun to go through that process. Definitely. I mean, it's... It's a challenge. It's, that's all I can say. I mean, I'm used to singing. Arena rock is a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, one episode I had "Sweet City Woman," which was yeah. which was that was a difficult song, and then I had Diana Paul Anka, who said people who might get there. pregnant to your version. Is that yeah. what you said? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Diana, in particular. But, yeah. It's hard. I was the only artist on the show, I believe, that had. Um, the original artist there every week, except yeah. for one, Joni. I, the, the week I did Joni Mitchell, yeah. she was she but was Denver there. But Denver Cox, Denver Cox is there. You know, I know. Anchor, and that Paul week I was deathly ill. That was week <gasps> two, and I just, that was like that was <laughs> a what scary kind of moment for me. pressure does that put you on when somebody like Paul Anka or Dan Hill is sitting in front of you and you're singing their song? Yeah, it's tough because I just imagine myself, you know, sitting there and and uh, you know. Would you like me to sing one of your songs too? Please, yeah, could you? Been singing it too. Can I judge <laughs> you? <laughs> no, but that will bring us to your school uh, yes. that you have, because we have some great gift certificates today. But tell us yes. about Studio Cloud 30. Well, Studio Cloud 30 is an artist development studio that um, I founded about two years ago. And basically, how it differs from your average music school is that we offer comprehensive training within the music industry and we cater to those who uh, aren't just beginners, you know, or hobbyists, uh, to professionals. We, we cater to people who genuinely love music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they want to be in the industry. They want to, they want to yeah. figure it out. Yeah. It, your goal could be anything from, you know, wanting to be an international recording star to, you know, winning your work karaoke contest. Right. It, it, could be, it could be anything. Well, Fiona wins that every year. So. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a wide, you know, array of clients from CEOs of major companies to, you yeah. know, uh, interesting. West and Man it's Housewives. not just vocals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not just vocals. We we offer drums, piano, guitar. We do grant writing, bio writing. We do um, CD 
uh, replication, graphic design, photography, anything you need. And you're on Groupon today. And yeah. we're on Groupon today. Yeah, man, because yeah. you <laughs> your life wasn't crazy enough with your own recording career and everything else. Why but you threw out a Groupon for uh, uh, Studio Cloud 30. <laughs> so it just so happened that way. We're on Groupon today, so yes. And you're going to perform after the break. What are you, you going to sing? I'm going to sing a song called Go Tell It on the Mountain. I mean, I was born in Yellowknife, grew up in Edmonton, now live in Vancouver, and I grew up singing gospel music. And... Um, this is a dear song to me, so I can't, I can't wait, wait to hear it. it. You can pick up uh, a couple of Warren's uh, CDs right now. He's got Vintage Love Out, of course, and A Soul Christmas, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, available now. You can check it out. And for your chance to attend Studio Cloud 30, email, email us at urbanrush at shaw.ca. Tell us why you think you should get this prize. Yes, and each couple, one Warren. is Thank a gift you. certificate for $200. So that's amazing. Thank you for that, get Warren. We're going to take so a much. break. And Thanks, when we Warren. return,